Hi everyone! My name is Akshara and I'm 10 years old and I'm in 5th grade. This is a science competition entry for Power Learn. I hope you enjoy it. Let's jump into some cool science, magnetic cereal. What you need for this experiment is pretty simple. Some water, a medium sized bowl, and at least two different types of cereals. What I chose was some Love Crunch, Golden Grams, Corn Flakes, and Cheerios. And you will also be needing a magnet. If you do not have a magnet, you can also use some magnetic tape and if you have a refrigerator magnet, you can use that too, but I don't know if it will work as well as an actual magnet. You need to pick out at least two different types of cereal. You have to make sure that you have these different types of cereal before you make your hypothesis. Because if you make your hypothesis before you know what types of cereal you're using, there's no purpose because you can't make an educated guess on something you don't even know about. Number one, you should think about what you think will happen. Will the cereal follow the magnet? You can either make an educated guess or you can do some research and then make a hypothesis based on that. Number two, write your statement. I think that fill in this blank right here because fill in this blank right here. It is important that you do because something and because it makes sure that you're doing an educated guess and not just a guess. That you have something based on, based off of, because of your prior knowledge or some of the research that you did. Number three, you should do the same thing for as many t different types of cereal that you have. I have four different types of cereal, so I would do this four times. Uh, you might have two or three or as many things that you have at home. And so then you would repeat it that many times. Number four, you can test it. Now before you go, let's, let's look at my hypothesis. So my hypothesis is just an example. So you cannot copy it. Well, you might not even have the same cereals, types, or anything like that. So you can't basically, but still. It's not a good idea because you want to do it yourself so that you're learning something. So for me, I did four because I had four different types of cereal. Here I wrote, I, I think that the Love Crunch will not follow the magnet because it only has one milligram of iron. So I, these numbers I got from research. So I, um, I didn't know that from prior knowledge, but I researched it and like looked and so I did my re my hypothesis based on research. For here, this one, I did, I think that the golden grams will not follow the magnet because it only has 5.8 milligrams of iron. Here, I, th I think that the corn flakes will not follow the magnet because it only has 8.1 milligrams of iron. <clears throat> I think that the Cheerios will follow the magnet because it has 9.3 milligrams of iron. So here we can see that this is the only one where I think that it will do something. So now we can test it and get into all that fun stuff. But this part is really important to make sure you're learning something and that you can put together all your knowledge to, meet, to form a hypothesis. First, you will pour the water into your bowl if it is not already in it. Next, you will take your first set of cereal, which is mine is Love Crunch, and put it into your bowl. Then you will take your magnet and put it side to side over your magnet, um, over your cereal doing it very slowly. I have speeded this up, so you should actually be going very slowly. 
I am doing this five times for each cereal, and you should do this too to make sure that you get the most accurate results. Do this for all your cereal types. Now last but not least for me, I'm doing the Cheerios. Now for this, I put one in, and I tied the magnet over. Then I just grabbed all the rest of the four, and I put them in. As you can see, it followed the magnet for some time, and then it stuck on to the other Cheerio that was close to it. This other trio also seems to be working. This will take some patience and you have to be really slow so that the trio has time to follow. My ma cuz my magnet is not that strong. If you have a stronger magnet it might be quicker. So as you can see, it was all stuck together. They kind of like grab onto each other. And the magnet isn't strong enough to pull them apart. And I just took them out now. So you might be wondering how the magnetic cereal works. So some of you may know that cereal has iron in it. But to others, this information is surprising. You may know iron to be a type of metal, one that you are not supposed to eat. But don't worry, this iron is perfectly safe for your body and is actually good for you. This information might be hard to get, so let's explain it with some pictures. So here over here, we can see some iron nails. We must understand that these iron nails are not to go into, these, into the human body. Your digestive system cannot take it. But... Iron can be taken in your digest digestive system in a different form. Iron powder. Do not try this at home. This is a picture, a demonstration. This is not exactly what the powder that is put into your food looks like. So you are not to try this at home. It's very important. That's why I said it twice. Okay, so no, not at home. How does the cereal follow the magnet? Iron is essential for your body, like calcium and vitamins. Some iron levels vary with different cereal types. For example, as I told you before in my hypothesis, the Love Crunch cereal has one milligram of iron, while the Cheerios have 9.3 milligrams of iron. Cheerios have 8.3 more milligrams of iron than Love Crunch. You may already know that iron is attracted to magnets, so you can infer that if the cereal has high enough level, has a high enough le iron level, then the cereal will be attracted to the magnet. In this case, the cereal will be che Cheerios will be attracted to the magnet because of its high iron levels, and since the other cereals didn't have that much iron, they didn't get attracted to the magnet. So as you can see here in the picture, the Cheerios have a very high level of iron. And here, as you can see here, um, these, the Love Crunch has low levels of iron. I hope you enjoyed this video.